Hello all, welcome to oratronics.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we use Gen AI feature in Oracle Apex. So let's see the navigation and the functionality and sample application. So to use the Gen AI LLM logic in the Apex, what you have to do is you have to configure a specific LLM in the Oracle Apex. So how do we configure? Just navigate to App Builder, Workspace Utilities, click on Generative AI, and then once you click on Generative AI, you should be able to see this particular screen wherein you can mention which particular LLM you want to use it. You can click on Create. Once you click on Create, it will ask you to provide who was the, who is your AI provider and the credentials of that respective one. So in our case, we are using the Cohere one, which is a free to use it for the developer purpose. And you mentioned the Cohere the provider name as Cohere. And name, it can be any user-defined name. And the base URL will be generated automatically. And this API key, you'll get it from Cohere when you just register with Cohere. And from the dashboard, you should be able to get the API key. And the AI model, you just mentioned this one, command command hyphen R hyphen plus. And then you can also try to click on test connection. If the test connection is successful, then your particular configuration is correct. And you can click on create. Once you click on create, your particular Apex is Gen AI ready. Nothing but you can create an Oracle Apex application using the Gen AI functionality. Okay, so now in our, in our case, you can observe here the generative AI services, the Cohere is enabled for our Apex instance. And now how do we use it, right? So just click on create application and the create application, you should be able to see this particular feature called create app using generative AI. So this will be enabled only when you configure a particular LLM in your Apex application or nothing but Gen AI. So if at all, if you have configured Gen AI in your Oracle, Oracle Apex, you should be able to see this particular create app using Gen AI prompt while creating the app wizard. So select this particular one, create app using generative AI. Then you can mention what exactly you want to do it. So in our case, we have mentioned that create an Apex application based on the EMP table with a search page as well as graph page. Once you provide this information and just click on this arrow button and it processes your request and it provides an option what it can do for you. So it says, you know, I can create an, I can create an application called HR management with the following pages. And once you click on create application, an application will be generated with a couple of pages which I was mentioned. So this is one of the functionality where you can use a Gen AI in Oracle Apex. And we'll sh also show you one more functionality where you can use the Gen AI logic. So we'll just create a, a blank page. Once you click on a blank page, what you do is select the any of the result-based search or something like that. And then in the code editor, once you click on the source as SQL query, and here you can observe here, once you mention SQL query, it will ask you to, it is asking us to provide the query. Once you click on, once you provide the query and click on this arrow button, it generates a SQL query and you can just click on insert. The query is ready for us. So based on the, prompt what we provide to the LLM, it generates a query. So these are the two functionalities which we have in Oracle Apex for using Gen AI. So now we'll just try to see the real-time navigation for this one. So the first prerequisite to use the Gen AI in Oracle Apex is you need to have a specific LLM, right? So as you know, we can't buy anything for a developer purpose. The easiest thing or a free thing which I can provide is you can just navigate to where.com. You just have a trial key. Okay, so now you can observe here, I have a trial key, this one. So this is a trial key, which I will use in my Apex. Okay, so now I'll just go to Apex here and click on App Builder. And, and here you can see, click on Workspace Utilities and click on All Workspace Utilities. Click on Generative AI. So I already have a Cohere one, right? So I'll just delete this. I'll just delete this. So now what you do is I just deleted it. Now just try to re-verify, click on App Builder, click on Create. And now here, if you observe, it is not showing the Gen AI feature, right? So now what we do is, now I'll just go to App Builder, Workspace Utilities, click on All Workspace Utilities, click on Generative AI, click on Create. So now what are we doing is we are configuring an LLM in Oracle Apex, nothing but the Generative AI. So click on create. So now it is asking which provider you would like to use it. So I have only one option. I would like to use a Cohere one for other services. I don't have any subscription. So I'm using the Cohere one, which is a free. So I'll just mention Cohere Gen AI and don't change any base URL and credentials. What it does, you just use the key. You can also generate on your own, which is a free one. 
So just use this key here. And AI model, you have to mention this one, even though it is not mandatory. If you try to click on test connection, it will not work. It says that AI model must have some value. So I'll just go with this one, command hyphen R hyphen plus, click, mention the AI model, click on test connection. It should be successful now. Yes, perfect. So the connection is successful. Now you click on create. So the Gen AI configuration, Gen AI configuration in our Oracle Apex is successful. Now we can go to App Builder. Now can click on create application. So I'll just see the future now. Okay, it is not showing as of now, right? So let's try again. So let's refresh. So click on workspace release. Just check it out whether the Gen AI is available or not here. Is it saved or not? It is saved and we could see here, right? Let's try again, click on create. Okay, let me try logging in and logging out because as we I said, deleted that one, right? So maybe it is not validating that. So I'll just try to log in and log out so it will regenerate or refresh the metadata. You're still not successful. Yeah, so make sure that it is enabled. Click on apply changes. Now try again, create. Yeah, so because that particular option was not enabled, right? That's why it was not showing. Yeah, click on this create app using generative AI. Now provide your prompt, create an Apex application based on department table. Let's click on this arrow mark. It validates your prompt and generates a response. Right now, it should it says that would like to create an application with the department, add department, department overview, and all these things. Click on create application. So the application with the name department management will be generated now. So it's a blueprint here and you can configure the way you want to have it. I'll just click on create application. So the application will be ready for us now. So this is one of the places where you can use the Gen AI feature for creating application. We'll just try to see one more functionality of Gen AI in the SQL logic. You can just run the page. Right, so this is our page. Now what we do is similar one. We'll just create a page. You don't have any Gen AI feature while creating a page. I'll just click on next. I'll just say blank page. And I'll add a region. In the body section, I'll just add a region. Create a region. And here classic report and now the type as SQL query I'll select and here we just click on this icon the code editor icon it shows an apex a option apex assistant option here you provide the requirement of your query provide a query which provides all the employees who are having department Let's try, just click on this arrow mark. Don't click on okay, just click on arrow mark. It will validate the prompts, generates a query and recheck it whether it is correct or not. You will modify it based on your requirement and then yes, that's it, query is ready for us. Let's see. So yeah, you can click on insert and you can observe here, we just provided an equi join query, that's it. You can validate this query. Click on validate. The query is successful. That's it. Click on OK. The report is ready for us. So this is how we can use the SQL modeling logic in the Apex. And also we'll just try to see one more functionality. Again, I'll just click on App Builder, Create. Create an Apex application 
for a payable invoice page. So as of now, payable invoice table. As of now, I don't have any invoice table, but let us see whether it allows us to, It does it have a functionality to create an application based on this particular logic? Let's see. Yeah, so I can assist you with the creating an application for your payable invoice table. However, I could not find a payable invoice table in the provider list of table. So what exactly it is validating us? Do we have the database table with a specific name which we mentioned or not? So in the earlier case, we have provided a table, the employee table, department table, we have it. That's why it was able to create. Let's try once more. I'll just try to say, create an Apex application based on project table. Let's see, what does it say? Okay, can you check, do we have projects, table, and Apex database? I'm expecting I have a table, yes. Please create an Apex application based on the table EBA projects. Let's see, what does it do? create an application using the table. So if it does not understand better, you just close it and retry it. So as it in the initial stage, you know, like we can't expect it will provide, it will perform all the functionalities which we're expecting. It is evolving. Definitely it will improve a lot in the coming future. Okay, so maybe my phrase is wrong or my input which I'm providing to the Apex Assistant could be wrong. Or maybe, you know, like as we are using a free version, it may not have all the functionalities, right? So, yep, this is all about the features what we have in Oracle, Oracle Apex using Gen AI functionality. Thank you.